This demonstration will illustrate one simple method of inserting a title layer in Sony Vegas Pro 8. First, let's start with a new project. We're going to pick Multimedia 320 by 240 because we are targeting YouTube. Let's select the multimedia, click OK. Now, our Explorer tab up here is on my D drive. Your drives will be totally different. I happen to have a file, a Jaunty Dagger AVI, in my Vegas directory. I select this, left click, I'm holding the left mouse button down, I drag it down to the media area, and I release. Now I have an AVI clip that I can work with, title, move around, do whatever. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to insert a title layer and then generate a title. So we go to Media Generators, and let's pick um, Banner, Hot, Cool, how about Curve Top? I click on it with my left mouse button, keep the button held down. Can you see the, the edge, the right-hand side? There I've got black on the top and bottom of my film clip. Now it's at the top, top and bottom. This is the way we want it, just like this, at the top. I release my left mouse button, and now I'm presented with an editing screen. And I'm going to put in something that's deliberately misspelled. Click Exit. And here we have a title layer. We have our video on layer two, and we have our audio on layer three. Now, if I want to even this title up to the end of the film, I just click in the end when it makes that double line, and I drag it over, and then see right there that long line popped up? That's a snap to the end of the video. So I just release. Now if we go back to Explorer, we can see the proper spelling of a jaunty. Now to edit the title, we right click, bring up the context menu, go to Edit Generated Media, and we have a jaunty dagger. But, but let's put this on one line. I want to show you a trick that I saw earlier. This is as curved as you can make it as the bottom line. But watch what happens as I add lines. It goes uh, up in terms of the amount of angle. I'm going to go to Placement, and we have Freeform. I'm going to drag this down. And there we have a jaunty dagger. We can close this. And once again, I'm grabbing. You can see how the hand turns into a double arrow with a square. I click with the left mouse button when it does that. And I'm dragging this to the left. And let's have the title disappear just when the speech starts. And here we have title. So let's get rid of the title a little earlier. We'll go back to the start. Too short, so we'll lengthen it a little bit, and this should do it.
There we go. This demonstrates, well, several functions, but the main issue that we were addressing here was how to insert a title layer. Just so you know why we inserted it at the top, because it would have been much easier to insert it at the bottom, let's add another title, put it at the bottom, we'll leave it as sample text, and now, where's that title? It doesn't show up until we get to the end of the film. It's a little bit like a Photoshop uh, PSD file. The layers, any visual layer that's on top of another layer obscures that layer. So this title being on the bottom is obscured by the video that's above it. Unless, of course, this video had uh, empty spots in it, which can happen with special features. So let's select sample text, get rid of that extra title. And here we have a simple beginning title. And we're pretty much good to go. If you wanted to add end credits, just drag them down maybe insert at the end and put a uh, website address or whatever you happen to want as your end credits. Now let me show you a, a quick trick. You'll notice how long this is. We could come out and then drag this over. But that's kind of a, a bother to drag back and forth. So I'm going to select this video, or it's not really, it's a generated media. There's a black line right there and I'm pressing the S key. S is for split. Now I select this long chunk, press the delete key, and it's gone. So, now we have a title, end credits. There we go. Good luck with inserting a title there.